Hello. Thank you so much for returning to join us for the final part of our study. I'm just going to do a quick refresher on what we're doing here today, okay? So, we are studying the effects of pre-procedural massage on recovery post-procedure. Uh, for you, if I'm remembering correctly, the procedure we performed was... Yes, it was insomnia extraction. I think I recall it going very well. I hope it's been helpful for you. Um, so if you recall, we originally did the initial checkup, and then we did the massage right after that. Then you moved on to the actual procedure itself. Um, today we're doing another checkup. It's going to be very similar to the first one. Uh, just going to be making sure everything looks good. And I'll be taking notes throughout so I can collect some comparative data for the study. And just like the first one, the checkup is going to involve me touching you quite a bit, getting really close to you. Is that going to be alright? Okay, great. Just like to ask every time. Okay, so you sit right there. I'm going to go grab my gloves, and then we'll go ahead and get started. This video is brought to you by Manscaped, the global men's lifestyle brand that is revolutionizing the landscape of men's grooming. Today, I'd like to show you a special little bundle. The Manscaped Beard and Balls Bundle. Beard and Balls. The perfect bundle for your face and below the waist. Our star here is the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. It's not just your average trimmer, it's packed with features for the ultimate grooming experience. It has two interchangeable blade heads equipped with skin safe technology to help reduce nicks and cuts. The trimmer blade slices through hair with ease, and the foil blade is designed to give an irresistibly smooth bare finish. The Lawnmower 5.0 is wireless and waterproof, so you can trim in the shower. It also features a dual LED light, constant RPM, and a handy travel lock. The Beard and Ball Bundle. Beard and ball. Also includes the Beard Hedger, perfect for sculpting and styling your facial hair with ease. It features a titanium-coated stainless steel T-blade, and it is also waterproof. With 20 different length options, you can achieve any look from neat stubble to a full-on beard. With up to 60 minutes of runtime on a single charge, it's great for travel. Just pop it in the sleek travel bag that's included in your package, your package. and you're good to go. So, bundle up and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use code JELLYBEAN at manscaped.com. Beard and Balls Bundle. That's 20% off plus free shipping when you use code JELLYBEAN at manscaped.com. Thank you so much to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Alright, so gonna begin just taking your temperature. Start over here and as a reminder I like to do it on both sides. So hold still when I'm done with the first one. I'm gonna get right in here. You're gonna feel the tip of the thermometer enter your ear canal. Okay, good. Check that down. here in the neck. So I'm just going to take my fingers and place them gently the side of your neck here. And if you can hold on a moment, I'm just going to check the time while I count. Oh. 
Okay, very good. works. Okay. I'm going to take this cuff. I'm going to wrap it very snugly around your arm. I'm going to be inflating it. I'm going to be doing a little listening with my stethoscope. If you can just hang in there. I have to take a couple different measurements and then we'll move on. Okay. So this is going to get quite tight on your arm as it inflates. So it's going to feel like a real tight hug, but it shouldn't hurt or be too uncomfortable, so if it is, just let me know, okay? Alright, so, I'm gonna go ahead and, if you don't mind, lifting up your arm for me a little bit. Thank you. Okay, get it wrapped around here. Perfect. I'm gonna put my ears in here and... You're going to feel the stethoscope on your arm. It's a little cool. All right, here we go. Okay. Just a moment. I need to keep listening while I deflate. Gonna write that down. your arms just a little bit. I'm going to stick them right under here. Under your arms. I'm going to be real careful not to tickle. Just going to feel around a little. Is that okay? Any pain or discomfort? Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my fingers on the back of your skull, right at the base of your skull, top of your neck. good here too. Are you feeling any pain or discomfort? Stethoscope again. Okay, so I'm gonna take the stethoscope, gonna warm it up a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do 
So I'm going to be placing it on a few different spots on your chest. I'm going to be asking you to inhale and exhale. I'm going to be taking a listen to your heart and your lungs. Then I'm going to move around back. Do the same thing behind you on your back, okay? Alright, so I'm going to begin by just loosening up the front of your gown here a little bit. There we go. Just going to give myself a little room. Okay. You ready? Okay, it's going to put in the first spot here. Just breathe normally for a moment. Okay. Any shortness of breath, congestion, coughing, anything like that lately? Okay. I thought so. Just checking. Okay. Now, if you could go ahead and take a nice deep breath for me. Begin by inhaling. Okay, over here. Go ahead and inhale for me. Out. Beautiful. And over here, if you could please inhale. Exhale. Great. Okay, you can go ahead and breathe normally while I sneak around back here. All right. Just sneaking around behind you here, and this time I'm going to loosen up the gown in the back. Just a little bit. Okay. And just more of the same behind you now. I'm going to place it here. Nice deep breath in and out. Perfect. Okay, over here. Nice deep breath in. Good. Out. Okay. Let's do one over here. Nice deep breath in. Beautiful. One more. Just back here. Deep breath in. Out. Great. Okay, you can breathe normally. And, okay. Alright. Great. I'm going to go ahead and set this down. Over here. Good day. And grab the slightly, where is it? There it is. The slightly less intense pen light that I have for the eye exam. Okay. Don't want to blind you. Okay. So look straight at me. Good. Okay. So to begin with, I'm going to ask you to hold your head as still as you can. Keep your head face, face forward. <laughs> okay. And if you can just look at my nose for a moment, good. Okay. Can without moving your head, can you look up? Good. Down. Beautiful. Left. And right. Okay, good. 
Now, again, try not to move your head, we're just moving the eyes. Can you look at the tip of this pen light here? Just right here, okay? Keep your gaze fixed on it. I'm gonna be moving it a little bit, okay? Got it? Okay, so only moving the eyes. Good, following. blink if you need to. We're going to do it one more time. Take a look here. Good. And following it with your gaze. Good. All right. Beautiful. Let me just note that. Again, following the tip of the pen light, I'm going to ask you to try and keep your head still. Look here, you got it? Okay. I'm going to be moving it in and out now. It's going to come close. You might go a little cross-eyed, we'll see. But try and keep your gaze right here, okay? Following it. Good. I'm going to bring it in close. Good. Okay, keeping your gaze on it. And back and good. All right. Rotation reflex. Good. All right. Now, in just a moment, I'm going to ask you to pick a point over my shoulder back there. I'm going to ask you to stare at it. Okay. Try and keep your gaze fixed. Try not to blink. I'm going to be taking this light and very gently shining it obliquely in your eyes, okay? We'll start on this side and then I'll be checking this eye as well, okay? So, just pick a point on the wall over my shoulder. You got one? Okay, great. So, I might get in the way. Just try and keep your gaze fixed on where you think it is back there. Okay, so, got it? Right in there, and just gently blink if you need to, but as much as you can, try to keep your eye open and fixed on that point. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, blink a few times. Good. All right, pick another point over this shoulder. We're at the same point if you want. I'm going to move over here. Got it? Okay. Once again, I'm going to get in real close. Shine light. Try to keep your eyes fixed. Try not to blink. You're doing great. couple more quick tests with the light. Can you go ahead and look straight ahead for a moment? Good. I'm going to bring the light up. Keep your gaze fixed here on my nose. Okay, I'm going to be moving the light back and forth. Good. Great. Your pupils are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. That's great. This time, I'm going to shine the light, fix your eyes on it, and try to follow it back and forth, okay? Okay, so looking at the light, just like that, good. Okay, so following it from side to side. Good. You're doing a wonderful job. All right. Good. Get at my nose. Keep your eyes fixed on my nose. Try not to look at the light. Perfect. 
Okay. You can blink as much as you want now. Shall we go ahead and do the other side? Okay. Stay right there. Once again, here we go with the dip of the otoscope entering your ear canal. what I'm seeing. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the otoscope. Good. Alright. Good. 
take my notes real quick. So, left ear was. start on this side and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be rubbing my fingers. I'm going to start very close to your ear. I'm going to move it away and what I'd like you to do is just indicate to me when you can no longer hear it, okay? So you can say now or you can raise your hand, whatever you want to do. You ready? Okay, I'm going to place my hand right here and let me know when you can no longer hear it, okay? data for a study and everything's looking really good. So, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, you can see yourself out whenever you're ready and please, I hope you will join us again for our next study.